clicking network. So Network and Sharing Center, and then the next one, and this is just tedious, putting together screenshots of crap. And then change adapter settings. Now, if we go to properties, it's actually not going to show us jack shit, is it? Yeah, we have to double click on it. All right, so now we just need to finish the page off. Alright, so this will be, I'll make a new scratch folder here, import folder, so this will be binding IP1, and then So be binding IP two. Wonder if there's an easier way to actually get to this menu. 
Probably. There's always some fucking shortcut. Double click your active network device. And then uh, open the details panel. to be finding IP4. Okay. Here is an example screenshot of a Comcast router's configuration menu. Alright, some router some routers do not show your internal IP address nicely. In configuration menus, here is how to find it. So it's um, one. Open the control panel. Click on network and internet. It's just a simple 20 step process. It's just simple. Click on network and sharing center. Click on change adapter settings. Find your active network device. Double click or find and double click your active network device. Uh, click the details button and uh, look for the IPv4 address line and, and Alright, so we got all those, so let's go upload some files. Let's go upload all four of these things. So scratch. Um, port forwarding. This didn't do a new line there. All right, so finding IP one. Error 127. What?
Ignore warning. Save anyway. Error creating thumbnail. USR bin convert is not a file that exists. All right, well, it looks like I'll have to go onto the onto the server and make a folder for it because it's too fucking stupid to go make a folder for itself. Like, oh my god, the conversion folder doesn't exist. This is a travesty. I'm gonna have to fail. Error creating thumbnail, USR bin convert is a directory. Wait, what? All right, well, it looks like it's still f working, even if it's kind of fucked up. All right, whatever. We're just going to ignore that. I don't understand what the problem is. I mean, this problem doesn't really matter, right? Ignore any warnings, yeah. <laughs> you can tell <laughs> you can tell this this wiki is super stable when one of the two options for uploading files is just like just just fucking upload it. I really don't give a shit. Ignore warnings, yeah. Let's see if we can actually do a few things. Our code 127. Let me look that up real quick. Um, USR slash bin slash convert media wiki. Air creation of thumbnails. Uh, I have the same problem. Seems to work because I get blah.
You must create a directory named USR bin convert. You may need to install image magic on the server. Is a command provided by image magic. <laughs> okay, okay, so has to do with setting up plugins on this goddamn thing. All right, so I'm gonna need a Alright, I'm just going to start installing random PHP crap on the wiki, and I'm sure this isn't going to completely screw up everything. Alright, it looks like convert now exists, so let's see if it does it. Aha, it looks like it's starting to do what it's supposed to do. Excellent. Awesome, so we'll actually be able to fix this damn thing. Hooray for randomly installing packages on the internet. I mean, that's one of my... <laughs> it's one of the things I posed to a few engineers when we were back at EA. I was like, you know what? You know what would be the worst thing ever is if you started, like, full-time writing help pages for all sorts of random software and server dev issues, and you would always include, like, adding your own hosted repository, as well as, oh, just make sure to run, you know, like, sudo yum or apt get install, like, package fixer dot whatever, and, you know, just don't worry about it. It's, it's necessary, and I bet, like, everybody would do it. <laughs> and then just, and then just don't do anything with that until, like, for, like, years and years until everybody has it in every script ever, and then, and all of a sudden you can take over half the servers in the continental United States or some shit like that. All right, so we're still getting massive problems with this thing. Let's see what we can do if we just... Remove those, what it looks like. Oh god, those are massive and annoying as fuck. Alright, let's see if we actually change it now, if we can...
Awesome. Okay, that's what we want. It's, we're starting to we're starting to believe. And after watching this stream, you too would be able to post highly confusing documentation on how to fail at setting up port forwarding. Wait, what the fuck? Did I just not? Yeah, okay, I obviously didn't do anything here. All right, so the next thing would be to um, write down stuff. Oh yeah, TurboTax wants me to file a tax return. You know what? I didn't have a real job this year, so my taxes are simple. I ain't make shit. <laughs> I made no money. Thank you, government. You're not getting any of my no money. All right, so the next thing we want to do is probably make a troubleshooting portion. Yeah, troubleshooting. All right. Uh, I think all the troubleshooting will be kill yourself. This section contains basic. Couple tips on how to troubleshoot connection issues. Port forward connection testing. Yeah, right. so connection testing. Um, to determine if you are able to be connected to from other to make sure people can connect to you run the test connectivity I will just click Click the test connectivity button in the in the create a game menu. I'll take a screenshot of that because I can. Oh my god, why is shit so difficult? All right, so I need to upload a new file. Our backend servers will attempt to connect to your local machine and verify if you are publicly reachable.
All right, so troubleshooting. This section contains helpful questions and answers. Um, let's see. Other people cannot connect to my game. Make sure that port forwarding is set up properly and that the test connectivity button in the game creation menu gives you a positive result. I really don't know what else um, uh, people can join my game, but my ping is always question mark in the game browser. Make sure that not only is the make sure that the beacon port is also forwarded by default. This is seven seventy seven. People cannot join my password protected game, even when they have the right password. Make sure there aren't any non stand non ASCII characters. And your password. Let's see. Uh, port forwarding. I, I can't find my local IP address. Help. I'm sorry. <laughs> Follow the instructions in the finding your IP section above. Forward forwarding is too hard to set up. I give up. We give up too. <laughs> it's a pain in the end. Why we host dedicated servers for for everyone to play on. Performance of my dedicated of my my, my game performance suffers while I am hosting. Try hosting a dedicated server instead of and joining that instead of joining instead of hosting via your client. Let's see how that looks so far. All right, so connection testing, high-level information, finding your internal IP, troubleshooting. All right, so I need to edit this, and we're going to add a new section, which is going to be called uh, hosting a dedicated server. A dedicated server is a standalone standalone server that consumes minimal resources 
which you can run on your machine and not without having to be logged in and running all the time. The steps for running a dedicated server are, let's see, one, download the latest dedicated server from the website. Unzip the server to a local to a directory of your choice. Run the setup.bat. Let's see, what does this look like? Scratch server back in sack server. Save as setup dedicated server.png. Alright. So I need to go upload a new file. Alright, so what we'll want is to Acquire a server key from the dedicated server page. Should be at the bottom. Click create new account. Save your server key as server key dot json in the folder you unzipped next to the setup dot bet inside the dashkin server directory. Run setup dot bat. Um, dot, dot, dot. It should confirm the existence of the of the server key and and server. Run option three to create your server configuration. Enter your configuration options when prompted. Uh, run option two to run your server. It's a quick, it's a quick and simple ten-step process as usual. Let's see. Um, dedicated server options. The dedicated server is configured 
idea of the server config.json file located in the directory you unzipped your server. You can configure your server by running setup.bat and then option 3 or by manually editing the JSON file. So here's a list here's a list of the options and what they do. Game name. This is the name that your server shows up as in the game browser. Time limit. This is the length of a match in seconds set to zero for unlimited time. Score to win. This is the score limit to score to win a match set to zero for unlimited scores team size max this is the limit for team size it is half the maximum number of players in the game. Game port. This is the beauty. This is the port on which the dedicated server serves the game. Beacon port. This is the port on which the dedicated server hosts the ping uh, status. Let's see, listed publicly. This is either true or false and determines if your game is, will be listed in the public game browser. Allow team swap. This is if players by default are allowed to switch teams. This is either true or false. M and pass. This is the password challenge which allows users to change options at runtime, uh, I guess during play, spawn bots, and kick players. This is Amistad is accessed through the game options menu when in game. Allow all players to change settings. This is either true or false. This allows all players to spawn bots, kick players, and change uh, game options at, during play. All right, so we got map path. This is the path to the map which will be hosted by your dedicated server. Make sure to spell them 
make sure to spell the name right or it won't work. All right, my dedicated server isn't listed properly. Is it being listed? Make sure that the publicly listed option is true. In your server config, if that is true, then double check that your server key is valid. Redownload it and restart your server. All right, so make sure publicly listed option is set to true. Make sure your server key is valid. Um, make sure your uh, dedicated server is the latest version. When in the game browser, if your server shows up in only when you click show incompatible games, with a big red error, yeah. When in the game browser, if server shows up only when you click, then this is the case. We download and reconfigure your server. The dedicated server link isn't showing up on the page. Dedicated servers are coming January 27th. It's probably not live yet. All right, let's see what this hosting locally, game options, port forwarding, hosting a dedicated server, dedicated server options, and troubleshooting. All right, well, I think that's pretty good. I mean, I think it's good enough. Is there like link title? Link title? No. Um, internal link, bold text. Okay, server support is coming in update two slated for January 27th. I 
It really doesn't call it out very well. How do you make it? Let's see if that works. Dedicated service board is good. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. Let's see if we can do something like right here. Does that actually throw the picture over on the right of the of the thing. Yeah, that's cool. Man, it's not amazing. See if some of these other formatting things can help us out. God. What a bunch of crap. Yeah, formatting those things on the right really doesn't work very well. Of course, we go to this link and it's busted, as it should be, as it's supposed to be. Let's see, we want an internal link. Other things, links. Okay, internal links, main page, help contents. How do you link to something else but not 
use its name. I guess it's using the pipe. Like so. Yeah, okay, that works. Technical and then server setup. So technical, um, I can just go ahead and edit this page and remove port forwarding. Graphic settings. Um, why don't we just put something in here? So settings, video. If you're having trouble with client performance, try changing the following. Lower your resolution in the video settings. Okay. Change to uh, disable vertical sync. Change your overall quality in the video settings menu. Enable enable full screen mode. Run in full screen. Make sure you're running the game on your primary monitor. Install the latest drivers for your graphics card. Post your bug to the forums. Post your issues to the forums and we may be able to help. Look for posts on the forum or create a new thread for your issues. And the community may be able to help. All right, uh, Dashkin yeah, overview. Dashkin is a PC based game created using Unreal Engine and Tune Program. Let's see. Technical install dependencies. Dashkin requires the following 
to be installed to run the game. Visual Studio 2013 Redist. Uh, let's see, we've got the. Uh, I keep clicking the wrong damn thing. Visual Studio 2015 Redist. And we need DirectX and user runtime. All right, I should probably make a new page here. How the fuck do we even make a new page? Um, there's upload a file, page information. Change protection, change protection on this page. Um, move this page from the watch list. Let's just go to server setup and hit protect. Let's just say allow Ah, whatever, fuck it. We'll just if people want to screw the page, we'll we'll just revert it. All right, so we'll make a troubleshooting page here. This page, uh, Provides basic troubleshooting tips for running Ashkin, running Frankenstein, whatever. Troubleshooting. When I run the game, I get a MSBC120 